Hello everyone, this is Teacher Epoy again and for this session, I will gonna be talking about adding and subtracting rational algebraic expressions with the same or like denominators. So in this session, we will be dealing with similar raX. There you go. Now, let's begin with a simple recap on how to add and subtract similar fractions. By the way, what are similar fractions? Similar fractions are fractions with the same denominators. So for this example, let's have a recap on how to get the sum and difference of 5 over 6 and 1 over 6. Now let's begin. Now take note, when adding or subtracting similar fractions, we add or subtract the numerators, then copy the denominator. And after which, simplify by getting its lowest term. Now let's have this one. Let's have the addition first. So take note, we will be adding the numerators 5 and 1 to get 6. And we will copy the denominator 6 and reduce 6 over 6. That will give us 1 as our final answer. In finding the difference, of course, we will subtract the numerators. So we will have 5 minus 1. That will give you 4. Copy the denominator 6 and then reduce 4 over 6 and that is divisible by 2. Divided by 2, this becomes 2. 6 divided by 2, that becomes 3. So our answer for the difference is 2 thirds. Now, Now let's begin with adding and subtracting similar fractions. Anyway, that's just a simple review. There you go. And let's just skip that. Okay, there you have it. So when adding rational algebraic expressions with like denominators, we add the numerators and copy the same or like denominator, then simplify if possible. So let's begin with this. So we now have, you have noticed that our denominators are the same. That's 3AB. So you just copy that. And what are you going to do with the numerators? You add them. So we now have 4A squared B plus 2A squared B all over 3ab, that is our denominator. Now, l look at the terms in your numerator. Examine. Are they like terms? Because if they are like terms, you will be combining them. If they are not like terms, then you cannot combine them. When I say like terms, they have the same variables and the same exponents. Now, let's examine. A squared for the first term. The second term has a squared as well. For the first term, you have b there. The second term, you also have b there. So you can add 4 and 2, making that 6. And then you just simply copy a squared b and then copy the denominator. Now, we are not yet done. Where? Let's simplify we now have 6 and 3. Common between 6 and 3 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So now, you are left with 2 in your numerator and 1 in your denominator. Let's write the number 2 and let's write the number 1 there. Now, let's decide where to write the variables. You still remember how to simplify? The other rule is so simple. You write the variable where the exponent of that variable is greater. 
it's look the greater exponent is located so in this case the exponent of the variable a is greater in the numerator so i will be writing the variable a in the numerator and then i'm gonna be subtracting two and the invisible one there so two minus one that's one i don't need to write that since that will be invisible now let's continue variable b they have the same exponent so what am i going to do with that i can cancel that out so i am simply left with 2a over 1 and i can write that as 2a and that is our final answer for example number one now let's proceed to example number two example number two Find the sum of x plus 8 all over 2x plus 4 plus 8x plus 12 all over 2x plus 4. These are the steps. Step number 1. Write everything as one fraction. When I say write everything as one fraction, the numerator plus the denominator and simply copy no the numerator of the first fraction plus the numerator of the second fraction then you just copy the denominator so simply write everything as one fraction now let's now add the numerator by combining like terms so like terms here are x and 9x, we also have positive 8x and positive, I mean positive 8 and positive 12. So, continuing to answer this, I will have x plus 9x, that's 10x, 8 plus 12, that is 20. So, take note. We have here x plus 9x, that is 10x. And then you have 8 plus 12, that is 20. Then copy the denominator. The next step is to simplify. How do you simplify? By simply doing factoring. So when I say factoring, first is we are going to consider... We are going to be considering Now what how are you going to factor the numerator Okay you will be using the common monomial factoring and what's common here common is 10 so I will be factoring 10 Okay, and then what is left here is simply x plus 2. Now, what about the denominator? What is common there? Common is 2. There you go. And you are left with x plus 2 as well. Now, Yes, we will now do cancellation. So I will be canceling x plus 2 and x plus 2 there. And I will also be canceling 10 and 2. 10 divided by 2, that's 5. And then this becomes 1. So our final answer is simply 5. Okay? Now, let's proceed with our next example. Example number three. Find the sum of the following. So we now have x squared minus 16x all over x squared minus 64 plus 64 all over x squared minus 64. So write everything as one fraction. 
There you go. And then, add the numerator by combining like terms. If there are like terms, then you need to combine them. If there are no like terms, you proceed to simplifying. Now, let's consider the numerator first. Since there are no like terms here in our numerator, since there are no like terms in our numerator, we will be doing the simplifying now. So, how do you factor your numerator? Okay, we have minus, minus. We have x minus 8 and also x minus 8. What about the denominator? Okay, we can have, we will be factoring that as difference of two squares. We will have x plus 8 and also we will have x minus 8 and we can cancel x minus 8 and you are left with x minus 8 over x plus 8 and there you go that is our final answer for example number three. Now, let's proceed to example number four. So, example number four is this. We will have subtraction now, by the way. So, that's all about addition. Let's go to subtraction now. So, the rule is so simple. You simply subtract the numerators. Uh, let's have this example. So, this becomes 4a squared b minus 2a squared b all over 3ab. So, what are you going to do? If they are like terms, then you need to combine them. If they are unlike terms, you simply Copy it, and that's your final answer already. Now, let's examine. Since both are like terms, so we will be subtracting 4 and 2. That becomes 2a squared b all over 3ab. Since we cannot reduce 2 and 3 anymore, I will simply write 2 here and 3 in the denominator. Now, let's decide. Where are we going to write the variable a? Correct. We will be writing a above because the exponent above is greater. And you subtract 2 and 1. That's simply 1. So we will have a there. And what are we going to do with b? We will be, that's totally right, we will be canceling b since both have the same exponent. So our answer is simply 2a over 3. Now, let's have our example now. Example number two. Find the difference. So first step, write everything as one fraction. Now, in writing this as one fraction, you need to use a parenthesis over the second fraction. So this becomes x minus, open parenthesis, 16x minus 64. The parenthesis is necessary when you are doing subtraction there. And what are you going to do next? You distribute the negative. You distribute the negative sign. So this becomes x squared minus 16x plus 64. Now, what are you going to do next? You need to simplify now since you cannot combine any terms there because there are no like terms. So we will be com simplifying now. So just like what we did a while ago, we will now do factoring. Okay, the numerator has factors 8 minus x, 8 minus x. The denominator has factors 
x plus 8 and x minus 8. So I can now cancel x minus 8. So the final answer is simply x minus 8 over x plus 8. And that is already our final answer. Let's proceed to example number 2. Find the difference of the following expression. So, first step, write everything as a fraction. And take note, we will enclose this inside a parenthesis. So, there you have it. And then, you distribute the negative sign. And that becomes x minus 4 minus 9x minus 12. Now, since there are like terms, you combine like terms. 4 for x and negative 9x are like terms. We also have 4 and also negative 12. So, x minus 9x is negative 8x. Negative 4 and negative 12 is negative 16. So, take note, we subtracted x and 9x because they have unlike signs. So, it simply apply the rule over integers. If they have different or unlike signs, you need to subtract and copy the sign of the number having the greater absolute value. If the two numbers are of the same sign, just like what happened in negative 4 and negative 12, you will add them. And that is negative 16. So the next step is to simplify. So what is, how do you simplify? By doing factoring. Okay. Now what is common here? Common is negative 8. And what is left is x plus 2. Take note, we are factoring a negative number. So you are going to change the negative sign to positive. Your denominator common is 2. And you are left with x plus 2. So I can cancel x plus 2. I can also cancel negative 8. That becomes negative 4. 2 cancel. That's, that becomes 1. So our final answer is simply negative negative 4 is our final answer. Okay? Now, let's Okay. There you go. Thank you for viewing my video tutorial about adding and subtracting rational algebra expressions with like denominators. Till my next video, goodbye!